Hello and welcome to another drone know-how show. Today we're going to talk a little bit about LiPo batteries, lithium polymer. Uh, at first I'm going to do a little unboxing of my new batteries I got from Banggood. The link is in the description. It's the GMBs. Batteries you will get delivered in sexy black boxes with nice big letters on it, it's GNB, not GN3 Discharge Power LiPo oh yeah. Let's have a look inside the box First we can see a little description Then we have a battery strap and last but not least, the LiPo battery we've been waiting for. And that's it, how it looks like. 1300 milliamps, 120 up to 240C, 4S. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna beat the shit out of it with them. And hopefully those batteries don't get hot again when I push the throttle up. We've got a XT60 connector on it and of course a balance lead. Let's have a look how the batteries come delivered, fully charged, discharged or maybe on storage. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks good to me. 3.8 volts per cell. That's the right storage volt you should have. If you store your LiPos discharged or fully charged for a longer time, then they will lose power or even worse. First thing I do with my LiPos is uh, I give them a number. Just in case something happens or, or one of the LiPos doesn't provide as much power as it should, that I can know when I'm back home which one of those batteries it was. Next step I do with my new LiPos is I put some Velcro on it. Um, the other Velcro side I've got mounted on my drone. So they stick better on it and they don't slip around when I have a crash. So it's just a security plus to the battery straps. And uh, since I do that, instead of an uh, anti-slipping mat or something well they, they really stay in place it, it's the best thing I discovered and well you would do a good job if you do do it as well because if you fail safe after a crash and the battery is flying away from your drone and get disconnected then, then you won't hear it in high grass in tall grass because the buzzer needs some electricity and if the battery doesn't stay in place well the best buzzer is useless without any electricity step number three I do with my new LiPos I secure the balance lead with some electrical tape and the reason for that is that the lead does not come into a propeller while flying does it not get damaged? That there will be no shorts. <laughs> yeah, worst case scenario, they get some fire on your drone. I guess nobody wants that. <laughs> Me neither. So I put some sticky tape on it and keep it safe in place. So now I treated all my lipers. I gave them a number. Put some Velcro on it. Secured the balance leads. Now we can take a closer look to all the numbers the LiPo's got on it. First, we've got here 1300 milliamps. Then we've got here a 120C, 240C, 4S. What's the meaning of all these numbers? 1300 milliamp hours it's the same as 1.3 amps or it's 1 C 
what brings us to the next row 120 C does mean with how many amps how many amps you can throw out of this battery without damaging it on a continuous rate so that means 1.3 amps times 120 what means in that case of, of this LiPo is that you can throw out 156 amps continuous without damaging the LiPo and the short time period like 5 to 10 seconds you have a burst out of 240C which is the double means 312 amps Pooh, that's enormous like I said on a short time of period without damaging the LiPo the Infinity LiPo I've got here it's got also 1300 milliamps or 1.3 amps it's got just well just 70 C what means this LiPo can supply your drone with 91 amps continuously without getting damage that's actually a lot of amps you can throw out of this battery but on the new age motors from our drones what we got today it, it, it's a bit too less when you think about all this, this, this race motors and stuff they really really need a lot of amps and this battery yeah it will get quite warm I used it for quite some time but I really had to change to something with more with a bigger C rate let's have a look on the next one the Dynagy 1300 milliamp hours also from Bang Banggood uh, can provide your drone with uh, 65 C equals 84.5 amps well it's a, it's a decent rate but as I said before for a racing drone and a hardcore racer it, it's, it's not the first choice I started with them on my first build well um, I, was, I was satisfied with them but a little more is always better <laughs> but actually I'm still using this one the same as the Infinity before um, all of these LiPos are still okay are still providing enough power didn't get any damage sometimes they get a bit warm sometimes a little bit hotter but they're still okay actually here you can see below the 65C there's then something else 5C quick charge means when you charge your batteries you should charge them gently with one maximum to two C's but in this case you even can charge this battery with a 5C rate uh, not all the LiPos like it when you charge them quick with a higher C rate this one is okay and if if there's no sign or nothing stands on the LiPo like that don't don't charge them too quick because they could take some damage or even worse they could burn your house so don't try this at home try it at your friend's house <laughs> no joke joke beside um, the normal charge rate is is 1.3 amps or maximum 2.6 amps to be on the safe side now I show you a 3S LiPo just of reasons for comparison this is a 2200 milliamp hours LiPo with 25C it means this LiPo can provide your drone with 55 amps not bad as you can see here also it says 25250C discharge means, means for a short time of period this LiPo can provide your drone with 110 amps well that's the reason why this LiPo is still still working it was one of my first LiPos and yeah still using it just at home when I build drones not, not for flying anymore just for testing out stuff but it's still working <laughs>
as we've seen now, the different lipos were with different power. Um, here a little overview again from the bottom to top. 65C, 70C and 120Cs. The extra power needs to come from somewhere so the battery is a little bit bigger and means it's a little bit heavier and if it's heavier it means you've got a little shorter flight time. So it's actually now up to you what you're using the LiPo for. Uh, for example a hardcore racer would go for a lighter LiPo with less weight and for a freestyler yeah it doesn't need so such a light uh, drone he can use the bigger one but it's up to you you've got to find out what's best for you and for what you're using it and what you with what you're happy but now let's have a look about the actual weight from these three lipos let's put them on the scale the first we take is the Dynagy 1300 milliamp hours with 65C and that comes out with 146.4 grams. Now the Infinity with 70C it's got uh, 151.5 grams. And last but not least the GMB with 120C it's got uh, 166.5 grams. At the beginning of this video um, I showed you how I put velcro on the lipos and here is the reason why. Here you can see my drone from the top view with the mounted uh, velcro with a sticky tape on it and it's really a good thing. And as you can see just the velcro keeps the battery in place. Plus I'm using a couple of battery straps to secure the battery really really good. Nothing should happen now. This is a little preview for the next episode I'm gonna do. Um, I will make a little giveaway so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell. And hopefully I'll see you next time in my next video. Happy flying! See you soon!